जनंजनकय चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये न भूतले स्वयं रूप कदाम ददाती स्वदा वंदेह श्रीगुरो श्रीयुत पदकमल श्रीगुरु वैष्णवांश श्रीप सागर जात सह गण रघुनाथाबित तम सजीव साइत सवदूत परजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधा कृष्ण पद सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखाता नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातारिणे हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरे प्रिय वाचा कल्पतरूभ्य कृपा सिंधु पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गधाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो वेलकम टू द टीचिंग्स ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य स्वामी चैप्टर ट्वेंटी टू विच वी हैव टाइटल एज द हार्ट ऑफ सनातन शिक्षण महाप्रभु इज एक्सप्लेनिंग द अभिधेय तत्व आफ्टर डिफाइनिंग व्हाट इज साधना भक्ति and within sadhana bhakti vaidhi sadhana bhakti mahaprabhu is just in brief giving the <clears throat> angas of sadhana bhakti what are the different limbs of sadhana bhakti and uh, in the last class we were looking into these angas if you remember so i will just uh, start from where we left last we are in the last theme of this chapter 22 of uh, sadhana bhakti and the limbs so uh, sadhana bhakti in practice devotion service in practice it has uh, two parts vaidhi sadhana bhakti and raganuga sadhana bhakti and uh, last class we began the discussion on vaidhi साधना भक्ति सो फर्स्ट वैदि साधना भक्ति डेफिनेशन एंड फाइव बेस्ट लिम्स विच वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग टूडे ऑब्लिगेशन दैट डोंट अप्लाई फॉर अ डिवोटी दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड टूडे विल ट्राई टू स्पेंड अ लिटिल टाइम इन ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो वी डिस्कस्ड द डेफिनेशन एंड हाउ दिस डेफिनेशन इज very exalted we can see you have to be ahituki apratyata so even practice vaidhi sadhana bhakti and then we saw the references scriptural and then smartavya satatam vishnu this was another scriptural reference from the padma puran propa the saying one must strictly chant 24 hours and then after giving this highest teaching then he comes to at least 16 rounds and one who chants at least is a neophyte 
So, and then uh, we went into the angas. The first 10 angas are do's. The next 10 are don'ts. <clears throat> and then the other angas we uh, just uh, read out. So, we read out all the angas and then we had come to, uh, if you remember, uh, this particular verse. Sadhu Sangha Nama Kirtan Bhagavata Shravan Mathura Vas Shri Murti Shabhaya Sevan One should associate with devotees, chant the holy name of the Lord. Hear Srimad Bhagavatam, recite at Mathura and worship the deity with faith and veneration. Sakala Sadhana Shreshta E Pancha Ang Pancha Ang Krishna Prema Janmai E Panchara Alpasam. These five limbs of devotional service are the best of all. Even a slight performance, please mark this. Alpa. Alpa Prabhupada is translating a slight performance. Of these five, awakens love for Krishna. Now, just think about it, Sadhu Sangha. You know, we get to do, have good sadhu association, especially when very senior exalted sannyasis come. Nam Kirtan we are doing, especially the Japa. Bhagavad Shravan we are doing. And many devotees at home are doing Sri Murti Sevan, Mathura Vas. Some get to reside in either Mathura, Mayapur or Vrindavan. Or wherever the house is, the house is Vrindavan. So all these five we are doing and Mahaprabhu is saying here, Alpa Sangha, even a slight performance, awakens love for Krishna. And uh, now the audience have to answer me, you know, how is it that we are in touch with these five Angas and Krishna Prem seems to be very, 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 very far away, <laughs> millions of Yajnas away or y'all have might attain how you have attained, then you will have to tell me by Alpa Sangha of this. So what is the reason? Although we are in touch with these five potent limbs, <clears throat> uh, what is the reason Krishna Prem is still far away? What is the reason? Anyone would like to share their thoughts about this? What is the reason? Yes, Dr. Archana Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu Chidanda. Am I audible? Yes. Okay. Uh, whatever classes I have attended up till now, so based on that, uh, whatever I have gathered is we all are following Mishra Bhakti. And to attain the uh, lotus feet of Krishna or attain his dream, we need to have uh, pure Shuddha Bhakti. So even though we are chanting 16 round, uh, it is, in, uh, it is, if I have to talk about myself, I'm, I'm the very, at the very basic, basic level of, as a neophyte. So it is, uh, we, I am doing a lot of Namapra and uh, uh, though I go to the temple, sometimes I do attend Mangal Arti or uh, through Zoom meetings, I'm able to attend various classes. And a few classes I have attended in person also. But uh, uh, my bhakti is not Shuddha. It's a Mishra bhakti. So I think that could be one reason. Okay. okay. Even if it is Mishra bhakti, but coming in touch with these five potent limbs will give immediately rise to Krishna Prem. What are the reasons you feel? Anyone else would like to share their thoughts about this? Anyone else? What do you feel is the reason? Uh, yes, Karth Sarthi Prabhu. Uh, Prabhu Ji, uh, it can be, uh, surely there are anarthas, there can be aparad in this life, aparad in the earlier lives. I don't know, but it, uh, should be, something is there. Yes, 
there might be some apparatus also. Uh, we will very quickly. Uh, Sadhu Sangha means, okay, there is one hand raised. Yes, Dr. Archana Mataji. Prabhuji, recently I have attended your uh, today's seminar on Vaishnav Ninda, so that could be a major reason as Prabhuji has uh, narrated just now, it is Aparat. Uh, well, apart from that, Sadhu Sangha refers to what kind of a Sadhu Sangha? Mahaprabhu will come to that. Nam Kirtan means we should chant the holy names offenselessly. If you are doing Namapra chanting, then that will not lead to Prem. If you chant Namabhas, a reflection of the holy name, then it will take you to Shukta. Bhagavat Shravan, it's not just hearing Bhagavatam. You have to relish the meaning of the Bhagavatam in the association of Rasikas. And Mathura Vas means to stay in the places of where Krishna has performed his pastimes. And Sri Murti, Preeti, with love, deep love and affection and deep faith, doing deity worship, not just like ritualistically doing, following the rules and regulations, with deep attachment. So if we do all these five like that, then Alpasanga, Krishna Prema Janmani. We will come to that now very soon. Now, Prabhupada uh, uh, gives a purport to not only this verse, but all the previous verses, all these verses together. He gives a purport now. So, let's go to the purport. Srila Bhakti Nuthakur points out that there are 35 items up to the point of observing special vows in the month of Kartik. To these 35 items added four, another four are added, namely marking tilak on different parts of the body, writing the names of the Lord all over the body, accepting the deity's garland and accepting charnamrit. These four items are understood to be included by Kavaraj Goswami within Archana, worship of deity. Although these items are not mentioned here, they are to be added to the previous 35 items. In Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, there is you know, each of these items have been more in detail explained also. Thus, the total number becomes 39. These 39 should be added to five others. The five others were mentioned. Association with devotees, chanting Hare Krishna Mahantra, reading Bhagavatam, regularly residing in Mathura, the birthplace of Krishna, and worshipping the deity with great respect and veneration. The 39 items plus the five come to a total of 44. And if we add the previous 20 items, the first 10 do's and the next 10 don'ts, the total number becomes 64. So this is how we get the limbs, 64 limbs of devotion. 64 us. The five items mentioned above repeat previously mentioned items. Now please mark this. Mark this statement. And we are going to uh, carefully again go through it and study it. The five items were mentioned before, but again, they are last 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Again, these five items are mentioned. What is the reason? In the Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, Srila Rupa Swami states, Anganam panchakasyasya purva vilikatasya cha nikala shaishta bodhaya punar atra samsanam. The glorification of these five items, association with devotees, chanting the holy name and so on, is to make known the complete superiority of these five practices of devotional service. That is why they are further glorified, these five items, to know their superiority. The 64 items of devotional service include all the activities of the body, mind and senses. So how it is so, I will show it in the coming chart. Thus, the 64 items engage one in devotional service in all respects. 
So this is from uh, Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, Sadhana Bhakti. I have uh, just taken the slides from there. <clears throat> I don't know why suddenly uh, the don'ts came directly. The do should have come. So somehow I missed adding the first two list. So let me add it. I think uh, somehow it uh, skipped away. So I will just mention it. So it begins from the first do's, that is the 10 items. Diksha, Guru Padashraya, Diksha, and uh, Guru Rasevan. From there. So from there it begins all. So I'll just show you the list. Yes, it is here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just sharing the screen. Yeah, so the first 10 are the entry doors to Bhakti. Guru Padasha, Krishna Dikshadi Shikshanam, Vishrambena Guru Seva. Saru Vartman Anu Vartmano Sadharm Pricha Bhogadi Tyaga Krishna Hetava Nivasa Dwarka Adova Ganga De Api Sanido Vyavareshu Sarveshu Yavad Artanu Vartita Accepting only what is necessary Hari Vasa Samana Observing Itadasi Dhatri Ashwatadi Gauravan Giving respect to Amalaki Ashwat and other items. These are the first ten do's and then <coughs> The domes. Sangha Tyago Vidorena Bhagavat Vimukher Janam. Giving up bad association. Shishadi Anubanditvam. Not being attached to making disciples. Maha Aramba Anubhyama. Not being enthusiastic for huge undertakings. Bahu Granth Kala Bhyas Vakya Vada Vivarjanam. Studying many books in order to defeat others. Vyavareshu Apya Akarpanim. Not feeling miserable in any material circumstance. Shokadi Avasha Vartita, not being subject to lamentation and other extreme emotions. Anya Devan Avagya, not showing disrespect to Devas. Bhut Anudvega Daita, not giving disturbance to other living beings. Seva Nama Pradhan Ubhaya Udbhava Abhava Karita, not committing Seva Pradha Namata. And Prit Krishnatar Bhakta Vidveshu Vinindyabhya. Not tolerating the criticism of Krishna and his devotees by those who hate them. So now these are 20 and this list what I am showing uh, uh, it all begins from here which we read the verses you know marking the body with Vaishnava symbols, syllables of the lowly garlands, dancing mrithya, offering respects, rising to see the Lord, following the Lord procession going to the Lord's circumambulating Archana. There is Archana here, one of the five potent limbs, performing menial service to the deity. So all these activities include the whole body. Then singing for the deity, singing in a group, performing Japa, offering words or sentiments, prayers, reciting prayers, Totra. We mentioned this. This is voice. So it is... Uh, Engagement of body, mind and senses. So here the voice is engaged in all this. Tasting food, tasting food water, smelling, touching. So taste, smell and touch are included here. Seeing the deity, seeing the arti and festivals, this is sound. Hearing about Krishna Kata is sound. And then accepting mercy, remembrance, meditation, acting as a servant, thinking of the Lord as friend, offering oneself to the Lord, offering the best action of mind. Making full efforts for the Lord. Krishna Artha Akhila Cheshta was there. Mahaprabhu mentioned that. Surrendering to the Lord. Atma Nivedanam. Serving to see. So all these are included in the mind. Now, studying scriptures. Living in Mathura, serving the devotees. They are all Padiya Seva. 
holding festival according to one's means with the devotees, observing Kartik Prat, observing Janmashtami and special occasion. 39. So now 39 plus again the repetition of the five potent limbs makes it 44. And 44 plus the first 20 makes it 64. So here both body, mind and all are involved here. That's what makes it. And then five more items repeated. But there is repetition with some very deep emphasis. It's not just uh, performing archana. It is uh, having faith and great affection for serving the deity. Shraddha Pritira Archa Sevana. And it is not just studying Bhagavatam, as it is mentioned, study of the scriptures here, 34. It is Bhagavata Ras Aswado Rasikasa. If we do Bhagavata Ras Aswado in the association of Rasikas, then very quickly <clears throat> our Sadhana Bhakti will turn into Bhava Bhakti. Then it is not like just, you know, uh, where is it? Serving the devotees in general. Association with like-minded, affectionate, superior devotees. And the term used is Sajhatiya Snigdha Swatovar. Sajatiya means like-minded. Snigdha means having very deep affection for each other. And Swata means either they are equal to each other or Vara. Vara means they are superior. So very having very advanced devotees association. If you are there in that association, then quickly it will disturb Bhava. And here also there was, you know, uh, Japa I was mentioned. But here, especially Nama Sankirtan means Tara Madhya Sarva Shresht, Nama Sankirtan. Niraparade Nama Lavaya. Niraparade. And living in Mathura, of course, you know, just by entering the Mathura Mandal, just putting your feet in the dham, uh, you directly establish contact with Krishna because Krishna is not different from his dham. <laughs> directly you can, the dham reciprocates with you. So that's why coming in contact and of course, uh, as devotees mentioned, if we are infected with offenses, then it will not quickly uh, bestow that result also. And if our devotion is mixed also, yes, then also uh, it will purify us, but it will take some time. But we should understand and each of these five uh, Bhakti Rasamrat Sindhu, especially Ruth Goswami, uh, gives elaborate evidence on these. In fact, relishing Srimad Bhagavatam, he analyzes the verse Nigama Kalpa Tarovar Dalitam Falam and we'll have to discuss one, one and a half hour. Each word, what are the different shades of meanings so when you relish Bhagavatam like that, then you will get quickly Krishna praying. That is the point. <laughs> so we are just studying Bhagavatam, but you are not able to relish Bhagavatam. Because we need Rasikas who have drank the nectar of the Bhagavatam and it is there in their heart. That nectar is stored in their heart. And when they speak, that nectar will give you Krishna praying. So that is how we should understand these five important items. So now, Mahaprabhu is coming to those five important items. And we are coming back to again Chaitanya Charitamrit. Yes, Parsati Prabhuji, you have a question. Yes. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Uh, here, uh, I have heard from other uh, association of devotees that uh, by remembering the pastimes of the Lord, uh, you get uh, transported to staying in Dham. And uh, uh, here you can also make the place where you are staying, uh, the, the home where you are staying also into Dham, like Vrindavan or Mathura. How potent is, how practical is uh, uh, what all I have told right now? Is it, uh, can it be equivalent to 
actually staying in Mathura Mandal? Yes. Uh, in the Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu and in the Upadeshamrit, both uh, Prabhupada and Rupa Goswami mentioned that uh, residing in the Dham can be either physically or mentally. And it is basically, it, it all depends on the consciousness. Prabhupada was in America, but his, you know, he was Maramana Vrindavan. He was always in Vrindavan consciousness. So we have to develop that consciousness through our chanting and, and create that atmosphere you know, within wherever space we are in. And it is equally potent. There is no doubt. There is no doubt about it. In fact, it is sometimes more safe because in that space, if you commit even some offense, it will not have that reaction. But in the dham, if you commit offense, the reaction is going to be very severe. Even in the dham, if you do any spiritual activity, it will get multiplied thousand times. But if you do something wrong also, that also multiplies thousand times. So you have to face the reaction also. So sometimes it is better mentally to you know, uh, be in that consciousness. But for that also, you need a lot of internal purification to happen. And you should have that level of consciousness also to actually uh, uh, feel like that. So what to speak, you know, when we are chanting, we are battling, we are not able to focus our mind on hearing the holy name. So it requires a lot of efforts to train the mind to hear the mantra. And uh, only when the mind is completely controlled and the consciousness is... Uh, you know, raised. Then in Raganuga Sadhana, it is possible that Sadhaka anywhere he is, he is always in the noun consciousness. I hope it is clear. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So now Mahaprabhu is going to each of these verses. Shraddha Vishwasa sorry. Shraddha Visheshata Preeti Shri Murti Angri Sevana Shraddha. Now the Shraddha Prabhupada is saying full faith. Visheshata Kriti with love. One should worship the lotus feet of the Sri Murti Angri Siddha. So it's not just uh, worshipping the deity out of regulation. That will bestow Alpasanga Prem. No. When it is executed with full faith and love, then that will quickly bestow Prem. This verse and the following two verses are found in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 1 to 92. So the next two verse, Srimad Bhagavata Arbhanam Aswado Rasika Saha Sajatya Shara Sikve Sado Sangha Swato Vare. One should taste the meaning of Srimad Bhagavata. Srimad Bhagavata Arbhanam. Aswado. Aswado means one should relish. Which is the best fruit we relish? Who will answer? Me? Which is the best fruit? King of all fruits. Nobody knows. Okay. One, two, three. Let us see. Okay, Peer Patra Vujay. Where are you? I'm not able to locate you. Yeah, down here. Yes, Peer Patra Vujay. Vujay, uh, ripened mango. Ripened mango. Now, have you eaten a mango? Uh, which is flowing like a juice and it is flowing unstoppable without any break and it has no cover, no seed. <laughs> uh, no Pruji. So Srimad Bhagavatam is like that. Srimad Bhagavatam is like that. So uh, that is one point. And one should associate with devotees who are more advanced 
Swatam Vare, then oneself, and who are endowed with a similar type of affection for the Lord. Sajati Ashaya Snigdha. So, this kind of association will immediately bestow Prem. This kind of study of Bhagavatam will bestow Prem. This kind of deity worship with full love and full faith will bestow quickly Prem. That's the point. Yes, there is one question. Somebody had raised their hand. Any questions? The word Sajati Asha Snigde Sadhu Sangha Swato Vare is very important. One should not associate with professional Bhagavatam reciters. A professional Bhagavatam reciter is one who is not in the discipline succession or one who has no taste for Bhakti Yoga. Simply on the strength of grammatical knowledge and word chivalry, professional reciters maintain their bodies. And their desires for sense gratification by reading Srimad Bhagavatam. One should also avoid those who are averse to Lord Vishnu and his devotees, those who are Mayavadis, those who offend the chanting of Hare Krishna Mahamantra, those who simply dress as Vaishnavas or so called Goswamis, or those who make a business by selling Vedic mantras and reciting Srimad Bhagavatam to maintain their families. One should not try to understand Bhagavatam from such materialistic people. According to Vedic injunctions, yasya deve para bhakti. The Srimad Bhagavatam can be recited only by one who has unflinging faith in the lotus feet of Krishna and his devotee, the spiritual master. One should try to understand Srimad Bhagavatam from the spiritual master. The Vedic injunction states, bhaktya bhagavatam grayam na buddhya na cha tikaya. One has to understand Srimad Bhagavatam through the process of devotion service and by hearing and recitation of a pure devotee. These are the injunctions of the Vedic literature, Shruti and Svati. Those who are not in the discipline succession, who are not pure devotees, cannot understand the real mysterious objective of Srimad Bhagavatam and Srimad Bhagavatam. In a general sense, Prabhupada is you know, warning his devotees not to hear Bhagavatam from <clears throat> unauthorized sources. Nama Sankirtan Shri Mathura Shri Man Mathura Mandale Stiti One should congregationally chant the holy name of the Lord and recite in Vrindavan. Srila Narutam Das Thakur has sung Shri Gaura Mandala Bhumi Eba jane chinta mani tarahaya braja bhumi vaad. One who understands the transcendental nature of Navdeep and its surrounding area, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu enacted his pastimes, resides always in Vrindavan. Similarly, living in Jagannathpuri is as good as living in Vrindavan. The conclusion is that Navdeep, Jagannathpuri Dham, and Vrindavan Dham are identical. For Gaudiya Vaishnavas, three, these three Dhams are very, very important. In fact, these are the only three Dhams for Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Now, Prabhupada is warning here. However, if one goes to Matarana Mandal Bhumi for sense gratification or to make a livelihood, he commits an offense and is condemned. Whoever does so must be penalized in the next life by becoming a hog or a monkey in Vrindavan Dham. Such a heavy punishment. After taking on such a body, the offender is liberated in the next life. Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saritaku remarks that residing in Vrindavan with a view to enjoy sense gratification surely leads a so called devotee to the lower species. Surely. So, how much carefully? Uh, we should be yeah. if we are residing in the dham, not to commit any offense. Dura adbuta virasmin shadha dure tu stu panchake yatra salto pi samanda sadhyam bhava janmine. The power of these five principles is very powerful. Durad Bhutavire and difficult to 
understand. Even without faith in them, Shraddha Dure, a person who is offenseless, here is the key. And many devotees told me this, can awaken his dormant love for Krishna. Salpapi Sambandha, simply by being a little connected with them. I remember many years back, uh, I happened to come to Vrindavan, I think first or second time, and I had gone to Barsana uh, to visit Barsana Dham. And while coming, waiting for the bus, uh, a Punjabi person, uh, he, he came and asked me, you know, I missed my bus and somehow I landed here. What is this place? Just being in this place, I'm feeling so much, uh, you know, uh, transcendental ecstasy. I'm not able to express. And he just hugged me. <laughs> because he had come in the contact with the Chintamani Dham, he was experiencing transcendental emotions. He did not know. He did not know which this place was. <laughs> he had come in the Holy Dham because he missed his bus and somehow he landed here and he had to go back to his home somewhere in the neighboring town somewhere, I think 60, 80 kilometers somewhere. But uh, when he was speaking, I could understand that he was experiencing uh, Rati Abhas. It is not Rati, it is Abhas. But coming in the contact with Dham can have these, you know, uh, these spiritual impressions. And he did not have faith in practice of Krishna consciousness. He was not chanting the holy names. He was not practicing spiritual life. So even without faith, if a person is offenseless, then it can awaken the dormant love, any of these five limbs. So this is also from Bhakti Rasamrat Siddhu Prabhupada says. Now, Ek anga sadhe keha sadhe bahu anga nishta haile upajaya premirata ranga. One who is firmly fixed in devotional service, whether he executes one, ek anga, or many processes of devotional service. Keha bahu anga. The waves of love of God and the love of God. Upajaya premirata ranga. Nishta haile. Nishta haile, please remember. We should be firmly fixed in devotional service. Prabhupada. The nine processes of devotional service are Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasevanam, Archanam, Vannam, Dasyam, Satyam, Atma, Nivedanam. Prabhupada just says, see text 121 of this chapter. So when we go to 121, we will again, we have gone through it. That time Prabhupada has explained it. Eka Anga Siddhi Paila Bahu Bhaktagan. Ambrisha di Bhaktera Bahu Anga Sadhan. There are many devotees who execute only one of the nine processes of devotional service. Nonetheless, they get ultimate success. Devotees like Maharaj Ambrikish executed all nine items. And they also got get ultimate success. Now, this is a famous verse from the Padyavali, which is being quoted. Shri Vishnu Shravane Parikshita Bhavat. Vayasa ki kirtane, Pralad samarane tadangri bhajane, Lakshmi prito pujane, Akru rastu abhivandane, Kapipatir dasyatha sakyer juna, Sarva swatmani vadane, Vali rabud krishnar pite shampara. Maharaj Parikshit attained the highest perfection. Shelter at Lord Krishna's lotus feet simply by hearing about Lord Vishnu. Shri Vishnu Shravana Parikshit Abhavat. Sukhde Goswami attained perfection simply by reciting Srimad Bhagavatam. Vayasaki Kirtane. Prahlad Maharaj attained perfection by remembering the Lord. Prahlad Smarani. The goddess of fortune attained perfection by massaging the transcendental leg, legs of Mahavishnu. Tad Angri Bhajane Lakshmi Maharaj Prithu attained perfection by worshipping the deity Prithu Pujana Pujani. And Akrur attained perfection by offering prayers to the Lord. Akrur Astu Abhivandani. Vajrangaji Hanuman attained perfection by rendering service to Lord Ramchandra. Kapi Patir Dasyaka. And Arjun attained perfection simply by being Krishna's friend. Sakke Arjuni. 
Bali Maharaj attained perfection by dedicating everything to the lotus feet of the Lord. Bali Abhut Krishna Arpati Esha Parai. Now all these devotees who practicing one limbs attain perfection is being mentioned. Now I want devotees to carefully go through this list, go through these personalities, each of these personalities and the limbs. Like Parikshit, Shavan, Vyasati, Kirtan, Prahlad, Smaran. <clears throat> so, seeing this list, what do you feel that is it possible for us as sadhakas to practice one limb and attain perfection? Yes or no? If it is yes, why? If it is no, why? You have to answer. Who will answer? I won't catch devotees who are not raising their hands. I hope the question is very clear. Hare Krishna, Bro, Bro, it is very much possible. Uh, it is only matter of how uh, how seriously we are practicing this this sangha, and uh, uh, we should have unflinching faith in this uh, this statement which are uh, uh, yeah, that are given. True. But that is, and, you know, my point is, uh, uh, kindly hear carefully, the personalities who are mentioned to attain perfection by these uh, men, who are these personalities? Just think about it. And as sadhakas, you know, do we think that by Ekanga we can uh, attain perfection? Now, again, think about it and answer Uh, oh, this personality which are mentioned, um, they are already pure devotees, and uh, uh, it is just, uh, I mean, uh, just to uh, uh, hear their pastimes, and we can create uh, uh, the kind of faith uh, they are there in Bhagavatam. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, 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 what do you say? Uh, but the point is, uh, bro, if uh, we follow in their footsteps, uh, then definitely there is a hope. Definitely yeah. there is a hope. Yeah. Now my question to you is, just like Parikshit, you know, left everything, sat on the bank of NG, day and night without, you know, even drinking water, he sat and heard the Bhagavatam. Can we do like that? Mm. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a definitely a difficult task. Pralad Maharaj, think about Pralad Maharaj. Um, what he was he went through, uh, you know, but because of his smaran, <laughs> he was completely transformed. Uh, so, I think, bro, we we cannot imitate them definitely because they are very elevated personalities. But uh, we can. If you see all the personalities here, you know, Parikshit Maharaj is not an ordinary soul. Right in the womb, he was, you know, protected by Krishna. So he was a Parshat because, you know, through him, the Bhagavatam manifested in this world. Sukde Goswami is again Leela Shuk from the spiritual world. <laughs> then Prahlad Maharaj is also an eternal associate. In fact, he is from the Vaikunta planets for your kind information. He is one of the uh, Parshad of the Lord. Otherwise, nobody can do this kind of smaran what Prahlad Maharaj does. I'll take up your question. Just hold on. Let me finish the discussion. And Prahlad Maharaj is an, again an eternal associate of the Lord. Lakshmi, again, what to say? <laughs> she is the consort of the Lord. Prutu is a avatar himself. Akrura is again one of the participants in Krishna Leela. <laughs> Anuman is again an eternal associate of the Lord. Arjuna is an eternal associate. Again, Bali Maharaj is also a very exalted personality. <clears throat> so, 
my point is that uh, although these personalities attained by performing one limb, but for sadhakas, it is always recommended to practice many limbs of devotion to attain perfection. That's the point. And out of the many limbs, you might have taste for one one limb. Just like reading Bhagavatam, serving the Vaishnavas, chanting. Somebody might have little more taste in chanting, he might chant more rounds. And somebody might have a little uh, more taste in reading scriptures, he might spend time reading more scriptures. So like that. But always executing many limbs is important. So that's the point. So this is from the Padyavali and Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu. Yes, uh, somebody had a question? Somebody had raised a hand? Uh, yes, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. No, yeah. Prabhuji, I wanted to say that my reply was that uh, uh, one should cross the anartha nivrti stage and then only one can uh, hope to uh, be in nishta stage and then only one can uh, uh, hope to make a lot of progress to attain that is, that is prema. True. But uh, to execute only one limb, just like these all exalted personalities who are all personalities who are in the Bhagavatam mentioned, <laughs> It is not possible for sadhakas. They have to execute many limbs. That was my point. Are you clear about it? I hope it is clear, right? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yes, Mother, you have a question. What is the question, Prabhuji? I no, no, no. Question is over. We had just we just clarified the discussion. Yes, Parsarthi Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji, I'm clear. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's clear, I think. Right. And now Bahu Anga. Save Mana Krishna Padara Vindayo. Acham Sivai Punta Gunan Varnani. Karo Hare Mandir Majana Dishu Shutim Chakara Chutak Sat Katojaya Mukunda Linga Layada Shane Krisho Tat Bhritte Gatra Sparsha Sayanga Sangamam Granam Chutat Pad Saroja Sarabe Shrimat Vilasya Rasanam Tadarpite Hado Areshe Padanu Sarpani Shiro Rishi Kesh Padati Vandani Kamyam Chadase Natukama Kamaya Yaduttama Shloka Janashaya Rati Maharaj Amrish always engaged his mind at the lotus feet of Krishna. Save mana Krishna padaranindo. To fix the mind at the lotus feet of Krishna means to fix our thought process. Fix our, because the mind means the thoughts. <laughs> Remembrance of Krishna means to remember the holy name, remember the glories of the Lord. His words in describing the spiritual world and the supreme personality of God. Vaipunta Varnam. Vachamsi Vaipunta Varnam. His hands in cleaning and washing the Lord's temple. Karo Mandir Marjanadishu. His ears in hearing the topics about the supreme Lord. That is where Shutim Chakar Achut Sat Katodaya. His eyes in seeing the deity of Lord Krishna in the temple. Mukunda Linga Alaya Darshana. His body embracing Vaishnavas or touching their lotus feet. The Bhatrat Sparsha Anga Sangaman. His nostrils in smelling the aroma of the Tulsi leaves. Granam Chatat Pad Saroja Saurave. Offer to the Lord Krishna's lotus feet. Tongue in tasting the food offered to Krishna. <clears throat> His legs and going to the places of pilgrimage like Vrindavan and Mathura, 
Pado Hare Shetra Pada Musapu or to the Lord's temple. His head in touching the lotus feet of the Lord and offering him obeisances. Shiro Abhi Vandani and his desires in serving the Lord. In this way, Maharaj Amrish engaged his senses in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. As a result, he awakened his dormant loving propensity for the persons. So, Tani Sarvani Sayamya Yukta Asita Matpara Vashaya Sendriyani Tasya Pragya Pratishpita. In that verse 2.61 in the Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada quotes this. Why he quotes this? So, we should engage all our senses. <clears throat> So that the gross senses get purified, both the karmendriyas and the gairendriyas, and slowly then the subtle body will get purified, and then we can make progress and attain the highest perfection. This is from 9, 4, 18 to 20. Now that point, the theme also in this section was uh, that... Um, Go back to the section. That uh, after this phylums, obligations that don't apply for a devotee. Now, we have to understand who is a devotee first. <laughs> Otherwise, we think, you know, we are a devotee. So, what are those obligations which don't apply for a devotee will be discussed now. So, let us uh, go to this. Kamatyaji Krishna Bhaje Shastra Adhyamani Devarashi Pitradi Kara Kabu Nahi Marini. If a person gives up all material desires and completely engages in the transcendental service of Krishna as enjoined in the revealed scriptures, Shastra Adhyamani, he is never inducted to the demigod sages of the purpose. Devarishi Pitra Adhikara Kabu Nahi Marini. Now, what are the two criteria here given in this verse for one who has no obligation to the devas, rishis, or the pitras? What are the two obligations? Yes, parts of the Puruji. Yes. Uh, could you please show me this slide? Uh, gives up all material desires and uh, completely engages in the transcendental loving service of Krishna. Completely. So, you have to focus now on material desires. Do we fit in that criteria? We have to ourselves see that. And completely engages in loving service. No, no. So, this criteria to fulfill, as long as we are, that's why we have a conditioned nature, we have a constitutional activities which we are doing, that is Shravanam Kirtanam, but our conditioned nature is there. That means desires are there. And we are engaged sometimes in conditional activities, sometimes in non-traditional activities. But when we come to the point of Sarva Dharma and Paritajya, at that time only this verse is applicable. Purna Shadha, Ananya Bhakti, when we start practicing. That time, till then there is obligation and we need to balance. It doesn't mean that we should worship the dev uh, devtas. We should take it up to demigod worship. It doesn't mean like that. After birth, every man is indebted in so many ways. He is indebted to the demigods for their supplying necessities like air, light and water. When one takes an advantages of the Vedic literature, one becomes indebted to the great sages like Vyasadev, Narad, Devila and Asita. When one takes birth in a particular family, he becomes indebted to his forefathers. We are even indebted to common living entities like cows from whom we take milk. Because we accept service from so many animals, we become indebted. However, if one is completely engaged in the Lord's devotional service, he is absorbed of all debts. Again, Prabhupada is very clear here. Completely engaged. This is confirmed in the following verse quoted in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Devrishi Bhutaptrinam Pitrinam Na kinkaro nayam rini charajan sarvatmana yah sharanam sharanyam gato mukundam parihrit kartum. 
So here, what is the criteria when you become free from all these rinas? Deva, Bhuta, Aptra, Pitra, all these. What is the criteria here? Anyone? What is the criteria given here? Okay, what about others? Jagdishwar Prabhuji, are you there? Jagdishwar Prabhuji? Tirtha Prabhuji? Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu, Dandakam. Yes, what is the criteria? Uh, completely devoid of material disaster. Where in the verse it is mentioned? Uh, Miss, uh, given up all material duties. Uh, and? And taken full shelter of the lotus feet of Mithinda. Taken full shelter of the lotus feet of Mithinda. So, Sarvatmana Yaha Sharan Sharanyam. Sarvatmana, complete shelter. Pari Ritya Vartam is given up all money. Pari Ritya. Pari means all round. All these he is given. So again, the same two things are coming up what is mentioned in this verse also. So we have to have a clear understanding of the philosophy. And uh, sometimes, you know, uh, we do sometimes what is called as being not well acquainted with the Siddhanta, we might preach something, <clears throat> but uh, we need to know uh, what person is at what stage and accordingly uh, the instructions are very unique for each and every individual. So when this verse applies, we have to have a clear understanding. It is said, Adhyapamam Brahmayagya Pitriyagya Stu Karpanam Omo Devo Balir Bauto Vriyagyo Piti Kojanam by offering obligation, oblations with key one satisfies the demigods. By studying the Vedas, one performs Brahmayagya, which satisfies the great sages. Offering libations of water before one's path forefathers is called Pitriyagya. By offering tribute, one performs Bhutyagya. By properly receiving guests, one performs Niriyagya, Briyagya, all human beings. These are five yagyas that liquidate the five kinds of indebtedness. Indebtedness to demigods, great sages, forefathers, living entities, and common men. We should know this. And we should perform all this. In devotees in Krishna consciousness, they think that we are practicing Krishna consciousness. But Krishna consciousness begins from Sarva Dharma and Paritajan. That's why, as long as one has not attained the Madhya Madhikari platform, he has Karmadhikar. So, being situated in the Varnashram and following all this and hearing Krishna Kata, when you come to Jata Shabdha Madhkatasu, Nirvinna Sarva Karmusu, when you come to that point, then you can, you know, if you're, in your heart, you will not feel obligation. Like, you know, somebody is a grahastha, he's practicing Krishna consciousness and I tell him, you leave family, leave everything, leave it to Krishna, he will take care, come and join full time. Now, he will join or he will not join based on his faith. If he has faith that Krishna will take care of everything, <clears throat> then he will join. But if he feels obligation, no, I am. I have an obligation to my family members, to the children. I have to take care of them because I have taken that responsibility. So he has to fulfill that obligation. So he has to be situated in his ashram based on the Varnashram and practices Krishna consciousness, fulfilling the obligations at the same time, hearing and chanting, more doing constitutional activities. And that's why all these kinds of indebtedness have to be taken care. So I told, you know, how Deva, we should not go and worship Devas, you know, by offering oblations with ghee. So you do a everyday deity yagya for the deity's pleasure. <laughs> so that's how the, you know, you do yatataror mula nisechana. 
So by doing the yajna for the DD, the demigods are automatically pleased. So we need to take care of all this. That's my point. Therefore, one has to perform these five kinds of yajnas. But when one takes up to Sankirtan Yajna, the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, one does not have to perform any other yajna. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Narad Muni made a statement about the systematic performance of Bhagavad Dharma in connection with statements previously mentioned by the nine Yogendra before Maharaj. So there is the Bhagavad Dharma, which is just Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Sparanam. These are only constitutional activities. Continuously performing. But there are other dharmas which uh, is the Pancharatrika Vidhi which helps as an assistant to the Bhagavad Dharma. So in the conditioned state, we have to do follow this track. Otherwise, we are only supposed to do Bhagavad Dharma. But because we have conditioned bodies, we are not ready for continuously executing Bhagavad Dharma. That's the point. The sage Karbhajan Rishi explained the four incarnations of four yugas. And at the end, in this verse, text 141, he explained the position of Krishna's pure devotee and how he is absorbed of all things. So what is the point here Prabhupada is stating which we need to emphasize in this last statement I read. What is the point to be understood here? Anyone? Let us see who is very carefully hearing and let us see anyone else. Keith Bhat Prabhuji. Krishna Prabhu, Dandas Prabhu. Yes. Uh, uh, same to like. Uh, mm. so just see the statement here. The sage Karpaji Rishi explained the four incarnations of four divas. And at the end, in this verse, that is this verse. Uh, I think it is this verse. Uh, yes. 11.5.42. Yeah, 11.5.41. Yeah. Yes, bro. He explained the position of Krishna's pure devotee and how he is absorbed of all depths. So what is the main important point here? That's beautiful. Uh, Prabhuji, uh, like the... Um... No, just I want you to just read one statement from this purport, from this statement. The yes, sage yes. Karma Jinmashi. Who is absorbed from all these duties? Pure devotees, Prabhu. Those who are... Uh, uh... Pure devotees mentioned here. Yes, the position of Krishna's pure devotee. Yes, so as long as you are not a pure devotee, you are absorbed of all these debts then? Uh, no. My question is, no. Till you are in Mishra Bhakti, then you have to do this so that it is favorable for your practice of Krishna consciousness. That's it. Yes, bro. I hope, I hope things are getting clear, right? Yes, bro. Any questions about it? Yes, but Sarki Prabhuji, yeah. Yes, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, uh, how do you uh, absorb the debt to relatives? It's all, it's all part of uh, Pitra. You know? It was mentioned. I heard. To living relatives who are uh, living along with you. Uh, how do you... It's called Pitra Yagya. Yeah. By offering tribute, one performs Bhut Yagya. By properly receiving guests, one performs in Nuri Yagya. It is all included here. Yes. Okay. It's all included. There are many other divisions which can come, but these five are important and these five will include all other things. Vidhi Dharma Chadi Bhaje Krishna Racharan Nishidda Papa Chartare Kabuna Heman. So I think we will continue in the next class, because this is a long topic. So we had started now, how, who is not having obligations 
uh, one who is practicing by this sadhana bhakti and executing exclusively the constitutional activities and executing constitution only the constitutional activities means executing only the limbs of sadhana bhakti. So if we are in this position that we are only executing all the time, 24 hours, the limbs of bhakti, and we are not doing any conditional activities, <clears throat> then these obligations don't apply. And apply for a devotee here means what? For a pure devotee. That's the point. So we will continue our discussion. But up till now, if anyone has any questions, any clarifications. Okay, so we'll stop here. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami ki jai. Sri Chaitanya Charitamra ki jai. Hare Krishna.